Hello everyone and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're going to be doing Dungeon Mes Meshi Episode 1 or Delicious in Dungeon as it's called in English. So for this um for this reaction video, this anime is one that I again don't have much knowledge about previously, but I can make some pretty obvious um predictions based on the title. It's going to be about fantasy dungeon crawling of some sort. And since it's called Delicious in Dungeon, I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of um, food-related anime <laughs> stuff going on, which we know anime loves to make their food as delicious-looking as possible, so we're going to have a lot of fun. So I I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with like dungeon crawling and just being able to make like weird, um, weird, um, uh, what's the word, food of some sort. Like maybe like taking the monsters they kill and then turning that into food is something like that. Or maybe finding weird plants and stuff and then turning it into cool looking food and eating it. And on top of that, I'm sure we're going to have a fun adventure of fantasy sorts to go on as well. So I can't wait to get into it. It's going to be a lot of fun and um, I'm excited. So there'll be two versions of this reaction. There'll be the timer version, as always, where you can put your own video on and watch it along with me. Or if you just want to stay on this video, then you can um, watch the smaller player that I have on this video and just watch that with me and see how we go. So without further ado, let's get into Dungeon Meshi Episode 1. And there's Netflix. Right, I forgot this was a Netflix show. <laughs> a Netflix series. Thanks for reminding me. Alright, so starting with some backstory. Hmm. Interesting. So, reincarnation? Interesting. So that's the reason for um, attacking the dungeon, I'd imagine. Pretty cool visuals as well. Alright, and let's... Here we go. Or... Intro? Nope. Jump. Dragon. Okay, getting right into a fight. Alright, here's our group. So that's like a samurai, we got a knight. Oh boy. Oh, they haven't eaten enough good food lately, they can't fight the dragon. Okay. Yikes. So is this anime gonna go more into like the um logistics about adventuring maybe? Oh no. That's not good. What was that? Is that like a illusion? Or a premonition maybe? Well now we're back in the real world, so... Okay. Oh, that really happened then. Damn. ドラゴンの腹の中で魔法が効かなかったんです。Can you really save her from that? Oh, so we got to start over then. Wait, what? Oh, they just gave up. Oh, 
So that samurai guy and whoever that other like um, warrior knight guy was. Right. Yeah, this is definitely going more into like the logistics of dungeon more than just actual fighting and stuff, so it's pretty neat. Uh, I don't think she's coming back. They definitely like their food. Uh, He's really desperate to save his little sister, which is understandable, but it might be a lost cause. Good. We have some loyal companions. So you're like our thief, basically. We got a thief and a mage. Oh, getting serious. So yep, this is our premise. We're gonna... The food chain of the dungeon. <laughs> I mean, they don't look that tasty. <laughs> you gotta prepare it right. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> He's already inspecting how to eat it. <laughs> It's an old book. Where'd you get that from anyway? Speaking of ingredients... Or... Interesting. So they have like a whole village in a way in the dungeon itself. みんな一様に奇妙な姿をしていて何かを守るように襲いかかってくる。しかし、それらこそ呪われた黄金の都の存在を示す唯一の証しなのだった。They can definitely tell their experience. They know how to deal with the monsters properly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Why else would he have had that book if he wasn't thinking about it before? Yeah, basically. He's a weirdo. もう少し人目のないところでやった方がいいのでは。水を使うのに何度も往復するのは辛いだろう。だ、これどうやって食べるの？オーソドックスに似てみるか。どうしたの？食べには切りやすいが横に入れると抵抗がある。キノコ系の
Okay. I'm guessing this guy's gonna be a party member. Come on, Elf, you gotta try it out. You're interested, aren't you? That's the slime, yeah. <laughs> you should not have asked. Fruit juice. Tree trunks go upside down in the, the dungeon. それは<笑><笑> Would you like to join? The red dragon. Good mustache. That's reassuring. Yeah, new companion. Yeah. Dragon steak sounds pretty good. There'll be plenty of dragon to work with, though, I think. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We gotta get to the dragon first. So the first floor is the cemetery. The second floor is... Oh, wow.前々から疑問だったんだけど、なんであの木の高さで地上に突き抜けないんだろう。呪いでできた yeah, they made it pretty far in the dungeon to get to the dragon, apparently. I wonder how far in that is. Come on, you already ate it. You know it's good. <laughs> Your preference is not monster. Big bats and giant rats. Goblins. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> ガーダー。Fruit, that sounds normal. <laughs> oh, those types of fruits. 
ある種ですそれは違う人食い植物は俗称で例えばあの花正式名称はアラセリアという<笑> See, I'm actually in her? 雲の糸に似た粘液を出し生物が触れると反射的に引き寄せる動くものに関しては消化能力はない自分で堆肥を作る植物なんだでも人を養分にすることもあるんでしょ普段君が食べている野菜も元をたどれば生き物の菌や死骸からできているんだよその流れに適はつけないけどさ大丈夫まだ地下2階だぜこの辺りに死体が転がってたらすぐに誰か気づく死体回収屋もいるわけだし真相じゃともかくこんなところで魔物の餌になるやつはいないさ、oh, we'll、こっそりもぐのは難しそうだ戦うしかないな Alright, time to fight the plants. Alright, show off time. Oh boy. Only take as much as you'll eat. Uh oh. Now we're becoming plant food. They've eaten people. Yeah, I'm going to eat some of the food. 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 Oh god. I'm going to eat some of the food. I'm going to eat some of the food. I'm going to eat some of the food. 一つ一つ相手をしていたら日が暮れる。歯を入れるなら一箇所だけ。The root. Yep. Oh, right in the face. 大丈夫か。She's having a rough go of it. ありがとうだよ。さん。どうだった？え？これはシャドウテイルという生物の皮膚の下に種を植え付ける捕食寄生型で、直接するほど強くつるを絡めてくるバラセリア種に比べて。対象を逃さず殺さず捕らえる必要がある。その締め付け具合が動けないけど不快にならない程度の。Why are you so enthralled by how it acts? どうだった。Yeah, that's. 俺でもちょっとどうかと思う Steaming some fruits. Beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> This guy freaking, this guy knows it all. What hasn't he eaten? I was the dragon. <laughs> he wanted to start a freaking, a farm with it, or a garden. It's like man eating plant fruits tarts. So don't eat the skin. Salt flavor tart, interesting. <laughs><笑> well, she likes it. ヨーロッパの水水しくて甘みがある。消化が多詰まって味が濃い。でもそれでいいのかしら。美味しいとことは他の動物にもごちそうなんじゃない。コースでいいよ。そこは肉食植物だからさ。狙う動物を捕らえ
Where'd you have it? Where'd you get a broom from? Why would you bring a freaking broom to a dungeon raid? It'll be fine. Dang, you can just revive a dead person? That's kind of... Yeah, I was about to say, that looks a lot worse than <laughs> what you're going for. It looks like you're trying to scare people off. Nope. Dungeon Meshi. Alright. That was a fun first episode. Now we got the intro, I guess, or maybe it's the outro. Naturally, we're playing it without the sound because we don't want to get the copyright. So, it looks like that person that we lost was his um little sister. At least that's what he said. I'm guessing that's real. There's Samurai guy who left. Here's a bunch of people I don't think we know yet. He kept pretty calm considering what happened. Like, <laughs> you know, that really was his little sister getting eaten by a dragon. Did a pretty good job of staying calm through that. Is that like blood? It's kind of scary. I wonder if this is going to be our main four the whole time or we're going to add more people later on. All right, so that was the first episode of Dungeon Meshi, and I gotta say, it was a pretty fun time. Well, we started off a lot more intense than I thought we would, considering the premise of the, so the show, where we had our party be was fighting a dr red dragon, and we failed because we were malnourished, and then our little sister got eaten by the dragon, but then used one spell before she was completely, like, swallowed up. To like um, teleport us back to the, um, the out of the dungeon, like at the top of the dungeon. But now we gotta go save her, but two of our original party members decided to leave the group. And since we're desperate to hurry up and get back there, we had to decide that we're not gonna buy more food, we're just gonna start eating the dungeon monsters. Which, apparently, not many people think about, but there's one guy that we met along the way who's a dwarf, who is apparently the, the number one researcher of monster. <laughs> monster um gourmet eating so he's teaching us all these ways to cook and like prepare the um the fruits the fungi the meats like the scorpion the slimes even i don't even know what you classify a slime as is that like a um i don't know is it count as a fruit does it count as like a meat i have no idea but either way we're finding new monsters to eat and i guess that's probably going to be the premise as we go on we got to um explore this dungeon and find more stuff to eat. As for the dungeon itself, it's a pretty interesting concept. Like the first floor was a cemetery. Then we went to like this forest jungle area and there's apparently a lot more other levels of the dungeon we got to find out. And our party is experienced. I mean, they made it to the red dragon. I don't know how deep into the dungeon that is, but obviously they've been to all these areas before and they know how to fight. Like they showed those um one adventurers that had to run away from the mushroom and then our mage was able to beat it with a physical attack in one hit so we obviously have a talented party with us so they know how to fight and we gotta see how we get back to the dragon and how we defeat the dragon and what sort of crazy monsters and plants we're gonna eat along the way and it's gonna be a good time i think but that's about all i have for you for this first episode it's been a fun time so this was dungeon meshi episode one and i will see you all in the next one goodbye